Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing a video today of a day in the life video. I am actually home right now due to what is going on in the world. So I'm currently out of work. So I am a full time stay at home mother. And it's so crazy because I've always thought like I would enjoy it so much. You know, going back to work on maternity leave, that was one of the hardest things because I just wanted to be a stay at home mom. So now I'm just kind of looking at it like, we're all going through a hard time, but I'm really enjoying it because I'm getting to be home with my son. So I'm just gonna give y'all a glimpse of kind of how our days have been since we've been home. I, if you haven't noticed, I'm kind of, this is the night before going into tomorrow's day in the life video. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I wanna show y'all how I kind of prepare for our day. So one of the things that we've started doing is implementing Montessori uh, learning in our uh, everyday life and just our teaching methods for Tatum and just things that we do around the home. The video is not necessarily about that. It's just more so a day in the life, but I will be incorporating those things into this video. So you'll see that kind of as we're going through. Uh, but one of the things that I'm gonna do is show you how I get ready for the next day. Every night before bed, I like to go ahead and get Tatum's breakfast laid out for the next day. So tomorrow morning, he's going to have raisin toast with cinnamon applesauce, and he really loves oatmeal, so tomorrow he'll have blueberry. Also, I'll go ahead and get out a dishcloth that we use throughout the day just to help with any spills and keeping him clean. Next up, I go ahead and kind of stock his little cabinet. This is at his level to encourage him to try and take things to the table anytime we do snack or dinner or breakfast even. But... It's just got to kind of help teach him a little bit of independence. Next up, I like to go around and just wipe down all of the surfaces. Let's be honest, they touch everything when they're eating. So I just try to get everything as clean as possible underneath the table, his chair. I even go ahead and wipe down the back of the chair because he turns around and holds onto it while he's eating his yogurt. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and wipe everything down, get all of that clean and ready for the next day so we could just dirty her up again. Moving on to the living room, I like to go ahead and get all of his toys put away so that the house looks nice and neat and organized. So it's a good way to start the day so you don't feel overwhelmed with everything that was left out the night before. These are a few things that I will lay out the night before just to kind of grab his interest in the morning, just to kind of get us started after he's had breakfast. He can kind of come in here and play. And what I've done is I have gotten him out a puzzle, but I've actually taken the puzzle pieces off to encourage him to want to try and put them back on there. This actually works. And it also kind of helps him match everything where it's supposed to go. It teaches him his animals. It's great. And then I have a basket here of just toy cars. I bring these out every single day because he loves to play with the Winnebago. And then he'll bring several of them out and just kind of have them going around the house. Uh, I have a book and then I have a baking sheet with his uh, little magnets that he likes to throw onto the baking sheet. I've started this recently because he's doing what's called like a uh, throwing schema, which is basically a phase. So rather than him just throwing things around my house, I'm trying to encourage him to kind of put them in one location. So that really seems to help. So yes, once I've gotten everything ready the night before, gotten everything set up, and the house is kind of in somewhat of an order to get us started for the day, I also go ahead and get my coffee ready. Everything just to make our morning as easy as possible. Now I'm going to relax, enjoy the evening, and we'll see y'all tomorrow. Good morning. For our morning routine, a lot of times Josh will go ahead and get up with Tatum because he's not here in the evenings because he is still working right now. So in the mornings he will get up and get him changed, change his diaper and bring him down and do breakfast and have a little bit of playtime. And it just gives me a few extra minutes to get up, wash my face and do the things that I kind of want to do for me and before the day gets started. So that's really nice.
風でいがんでみちゃうといまあ This morning for breakfast, I'm having egg whites with sausage and a little bit of feta cheese. I really like to have this. Notice that there's more egg whites than there is sausage. And then I'm also going to have a banana. And of course, we need the coffee. Is that Edgar? You give him sugar? That's your bed? Bed. Edgar? Oh, that's so sweet. You're so sweet. Do you know what you want to wear today? Which one are you going to wear? Are you going to wear Edgar? Okay, we'll wear Edgar. You sniff his butt? <laughs> Okay, here we go. You want that one or that one? Which one do you want? Okay, very good.
these muffins are absolutely delicious. You can also add dark chocolate chips if you'd like to. I'll put the recipe in the description box below. So I'm really excited about our package that came today because this is from a company called Moon Picnic and they do a lot of like wooden toys for children uh, that collate with the whole Montessori method. And I've been waiting on it. I'm interested to see how he's gonna react to it to see if he likes it. I will be honest, these toys are a little bit more expensive than like what you would spend at Target, but everyone talks so highly about them and how long they hold up and then just the um, educational aspect of it. So I'm really excited about it. Whoa. Whoa. We've really picked a day to do this home video because Tatum is actually very cranky today. So we'll see how it goes, but let's see what we got. Ooh. Here we go. So it comes in this cute little box. It says Moon Picnic on it. And what it is, is it's actually a weather board to help your child learn about the weather. Ah! Yeah! Isn't that exciting? What is this? You want to see? Ooh. Yeah. You want to hold it? So it's got a little piece of paper in here. It says, how's the weather? Can you tell today's weather or forecast for tomorrow? And then this is just an idea of the actual weather board. And it comes with the different little pieces that you can switch out. Let's see. You want to see? Ooh. Look at there. Look. Isn't that neat? Ooh, I think we're going to have a sunny day today. Yeah? Look, wet. There's the rain. Is it going to be dry or is it going to be wet outside? Look, this moves so you can change the temperature. So it comes with other little pieces that you can switch out. Just a few. So like, for example, here's the board. You can adjust the temperature gauge here. Um, let's see, freezing, cold, cool, warm, and hot. And then you can also change out these little pegs here. Let me close this one so y'all can see it better. There we go. All right. So then you can change these out. Like this one's got a little cloud here. You can also turn this little gauge here and like for if it's gonna be sunny or rainy, that kind of thing. It's also got uh, the wind and the humidity down here. And as of right now, he, um, it'll be something that we kind of do together, but at some point I'm going to mount it at the front door and it can be something that we do when we get home or either before we leave for the day just to kind of give him an idea of what temperature is or weather is. So I thought that was pretty neat. Yeah. So yeah, I'm really excited about it. I've got to figure out how to mount it. I hope I can mount it. I've seen it on people's walls, so hopefully we can do that. If not, we'll put it upstairs in his room. <gasps> Grapes. Yeah. What else do we have? Is that an orange? <gasps> Carrot, grapes, peppers, peppers. Yes. What's this? Watermelon. Yum. Yum. Where's the other part of your potato? Potato. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Why don't we find the other end of the potato? Look, is this it? Is this it? <gasps> Mushroom. 
I don't think you like mushrooms. You do like mushrooms? Yum. <coughs> Yummy. <coughs> Mushroom, that's right. Good job, baby. Oh. You have a potato? Now you have two potatoes. One, two. I'm sorry. We'll go out again this afternoon, okay? I know. I'm sorry. I know you want to go. We'll go this afternoon, okay? It's okay, buddy. It's okay. We'll go out in a little bit, okay? See? Yeah. I think you're tired. I love you. I've just gotten Tatum down for his nap. So usually he sleeps for about an hour to an hour and a half, maybe two, depending. Uh, he's a little cranky today, which is abnormal for him because typically he's fairly happy and he keeps rubbing his left ear. So I'm praying he's not getting an ear infection. I did give him a little bit of Motrin just to kind of help him, but we'll see. He is teething too, so bless his heart. He's just having a tough time today. But uh, So I'm going to enjoy some lunch. I've got some homemade chicken salad, and I've got some cucumbers and tomatoes that I've marinated in a Greek vinaigrette. And I'm going to read a little bit more of my book. If you're liking this video and liking some of the things that I've done as far as like with Tatum and the learning and the things that you've seen, like the weather cloud, it's all inspiration from this book. The author's name is Simone Davies and it's called The Montessori Toddler. I absolutely love it. I've got tons of stuff just kind of um, pages kind of bent down of things that I want to remember and highlighted and it's it seems like it's almost just like the Bible for trying to raise your child without like harsh discipline and trying to educate them and understand where they're coming from. So I really like it and it's very easy. Uh, it's not a judgmental book. It doesn't make me feel like I'm a bad parent. It isn't anything either that you have to do 100%. You can just use some of the methods just to kind of make life a little easier for you. Uh, and I'm going to work on editing some of this video. I've got friends on. I'm going to rewatch some of the episodes of that and I'm just gonna relax while he takes his nap. Try again. <gasps> Whoa! Turn it this way. Good job. Alrighty, so this is the time of day where we've hit our peak. This is that mommy time where you look down at the clock and you're like, oh my gosh, it's only 2.30, okay? This is also why I save my workouts and our act, outdoor activities for the afternoon. 
because by now he's played with all of his toys this morning. That's the first thing that he wants to do when he wakes up. So he's kind of getting to that phase of like, what are we gonna do now? So now that he's had a nap, he's happy, he's fed, he's full, we can focus on going outside, but I'm also focusing on myself. So we're gonna go to the park to get some fresh air. We'll do a couple of laps. Usually I try to do like one or two miles, come back and see if we can get. <laughs> Tatum is finishing up his. Let's be honest, I cut up some for him too because he's probably gonna eat it. But this is one of my favorite fruit bowls. I usually make it with avocado, but they're just, they're not ready yet, you know? And you just can't put any avocado in here. It has to be the perfect avocado, you know? So I've got Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt uh, with granola, strawberry, blueberry, banana, and a little bit of honey. And then tonight for dinner, I'm gonna have one of these prepackaged uh, salads from Aldi. This is the sunflower chopped salad kit, and then I'm just gonna add some chicken to it. Uh, yeah, that is pretty much our routine since we've been home and since we are kind of on lockdown. Um, and I hate to say that because it sounds so aggressive, but I know that you know there's a lot going on in the world and everybody's just trying to get through it, so hang tight everybody just be patient enjoy this time with your family and thank you so much to the ones who are on the front line who are having to work every day and putting themselves in a situation that hopefully they will not have to be exposed to but we appreciate you and thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it i'd love for you to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because it really supports my channel and my growth and if you liked it, it's also helped me to know that you enjoyed it and we could do more like them. I'd really like to do maybe like an evening routine. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments and I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.